Thanks for checking out my banjo lead for Wayfaring Stranger. This is played a lot in A minor. Some folks play it in E minor, in which case we're out of luck on this one. Uh, hit me up and I'll make you a version in E minor. This A minor tab is cool because we play it at open G, but we capo up or scale up the fifth string to the A note, high A tuning. So that way when we have those mournful A minor chords and we hit the fifth string, we've got that nice root ringing out. So this is fairly straightforward. I wanted to keep the spooky melody, keep it nice and slow and creepy, but not have anything too complex. Um, so it starts out basically with those pickups, I am a poor, with lots of little grace notes. Slide into that too at the very beginning. And then we slide up into this A minor, one to two slide, very bluesy, flat fifth up to the fifth there. Just like that. Bit of the melody here and one of my favorite parts we snap a quick pull off on that first string and measure four from one to zero on the first string once again that's probably the bluesiest sound you can have on any instrument because in the a blues scale that's the flat fifth so using that and little spices really adds flavor to this arrangement so when it starts out a couple times at the very beginning that flat five sliding up and then the quick pull off and then we go to the D minor that's a no-brainer hammer same idea from that um, four to three slide on the second string super bluesy and then back to A minor pickups again and then we're back in same phrase, because it's too cool not to repeat, and then D, and for the E, same thing, repeating a motif, very common in blues, you know, like, uh, same idea, we're repeating a motif, in this case, those flat five notes, those E flat notes over several chords, we've used it pretty much over the one, four, and five so far, okay, and then we end with this really juicy triplet. So that last E goes, and then A minor, triplet, and now we move up the neck with this really cool, moving up chromatically, Scruggs used to do that a lot with the 4-4 four, four sliding into the 5-5, five, five. but now we've got that high A, so it gives us a real cool C6 sound. So for the, from the beginning with the double bar line of the second part is, we, we walk up, and then we slide into a partial F. Now what's happening here is it could be considered a partial of the full F position and the D shape at the sixth fret, root on the sixth string on the, sorry, the uh, sixth fret on the second string. And we slide up. Okay, that's how we get the start of our phrase. And then we walk back down. And then up to the C. Now we want to descend on that F. It's really plaintive and emotional when we do that. So we jump up to this C, walk down. So let's play that far through the second part. We slide up to the F, slide up, now jump up, walk down, back to the F, and now guess what? Back to our blues phrase. We hammer into a good old open position E chord and then our pickups. Same first part. So from that second part walk up, Super bluesy, and then back to the conclusion. So have fun learning this. Go back and watch the performance video. Remember, you can slow YouTube videos down now in the little gear icon. And of course, click in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Go check out our Facebook page and uh, go to the jamalong.org site for tons of more lessons and tabs. 
And you can always hit us up for a free lesson. We'll go over this in a live video call with you and jam it back and forth. Keep on picking. Click on the first link in the comments below to get the full lesson with tablature, notation, and audio tracks with adjustable tempos. And get a free 40-minute live video session, $50 value, with purchase of this lesson to go over this song together in detail and make learning a breeze. Simply request by email or instant message on the website after you purchase.